Hey Nomads, Dylan here. In this episode of the New Medical Nomads podcast, I go over the five things that you need before your first big road trip. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Dylan Callier. I'm a physical therapist and welcome to the New Medical Nomads podcast, where I get to document my journey as a medical traveler, as well as interview other experts within the traveling field. Now, the rules for the traveling game are constantly changing, so anything you hear on this show should be for entertainment purposes only. This is not legal, financial, or medical advice. Enjoy the show and safe travels. Hello all you nomads, vagabonds, and wanderlusters. My name is Dr. Dylan Callier. Today I want to talk about my first experience driving across the United States and preparing you for your first ever big road trip. So I just made an incredible journey from St. Louis, Missouri to Palm Desert, California. I am a new grad physical therapist, new grad traveler, and I've been out of school for about a year, been operating a podcast called the New Medical Nomads Podcast, and getting started with my traveling career. So here are the five things that I think everybody needs before they make a road trip. Number one, of course, a map. Um, <laughs> I use Waze, which is a um, communal app that utilizes Google Maps. And what that means is that Waze allows me to communicate with other individuals who are using the Waze app, W-A-Z-E. Those using that app can put on, maybe there's an obstacle in the road, maybe there is uh, a vehicle crash, maybe there's traffic later on down the road, or my favorite, maybe there is a officer on patrol on your route. Um, using this app has definitely saved me some cash um, ticket-wise and also kept me safe on the road. So whether you're using Google Maps, um, the Waze app, anything like that, you definitely need something to get you there. Now, my story of warning is I fully put my faith into this app in order to get to my direction. What I did not expect to happen during my road trip was to lose service. So I definitely think that if you are going to use this app, definitely take a screenshot of all the directions just in case you lose service. So my first road trip, I went from St. Louis, Missouri, to Omaha, Nebraska, to Park City or Salt Lake City, Utah, and then to Las Vegas, and then to the Palm Springs area or Palm Desert, California. During my trip between Park City, Utah, and Las Vegas, Nevada, I definitely lost service. I went through Zion State National Park, and in there I got zero service, like none. And as I was coming out, I made the wrong turn. And I wasn't able to tell that I made a wrong turn until about an hour down the road. So in order for you to save some, uh, save some time, uh, save some <laughs> annoyance, save some grief, some energy, definitely take a snapshot of those directions so that you don't have to backtrack and get back on your way. Second thing I think everybody needs before a big road trip is to get a service that provides them music, whether that be Pandora or Spotify, which is, I, which is what I use. Spotify allows me to make my own playlists, and not only that, but also has some podcasts on there as well. Uh, so I will listen to that along my drive, and then I'm much more apt to listen to audiobooks or podcasts and what I use for that is Audible, which is about $15 a month. And there's also another app called Overstock. So if you're getting ready for your trip now, you can use the Overstock app in order to link with your, per, your local public library of where your permanent home address is. And they allow you to have one free monthly rental from the library or whatever the library's deal is with this Overstock app. So you, you would get some free apps, you get some free audiobooks for your travels, and absolutely free. 
Now Audible is $15 a month-ish and allows you one book per month. They basically do a credit system and then you're also able to do that. Uh, also talking on prices, the Spotify app, I upgraded to premium just so I didn't have to listen to ads, but that's also free. And then the Waze app is also free as well. Preparing for your trip, definitely go through all the stuff that you haven't worn in the past year and just get rid of it. Um, I would start with things that you know you want to get rid of or that you need to get rid of because it's almost like a, a muscle. Once you start working it out a little bit, it starts getting a little bit easier for those tougher items. So as I prepared, I went through all my clothes, unless it was seasonal or I expected myself to use it in the next year for like camping or um, out in the snow or wearing a swimsuit, something like that, that would justify me kind of packing it along with me. I either sold it, gave it to Goodwill or gave it to friends. Same thing goes for just those knickknacks you have lying around, those items that you haven't used for a bit. Definitely go through them all. When you get to the place where you are destined to go and you arrive and you have to make 25 trips up the steps carrying all your stuff, or you're trying to pack your car in negative eight degrees with a lot of snow everywhere, and then you have to rearrange everything because it doesn't fit, it, it definitely saves you some hassle. Just get rid of it at the beginning. Second thing I wanted to talk about before you get started is the vehicle that you're driving. So I have a Honda Civic hatchback 2017. I do think the hatchback gave me a little extra room in order to fit everything in there. Also made everything packing just a little bit easier, but it's not a very big car. I'm just a single dude traveling. I didn't need that much room. Most travelers I know either have like an SUV type. I know uh, the Mazda 3s out there are very good. Um, example of like a smaller compact but roomy vehicle that has a little extended trunk. Uh, some travelers travel in a truck, whatever. Um, I, just saying you can definitely do it in a small compact car like I did um, in getting ready for that first big trip. Now the last two items I think everybody needs one, are both physical. So one was brought to my attention through the podcast is a Ziploc bag, giant Ziploc bag called uh, Space Bags. And it's made by the Ziploc company. And you put all your stuff into this bag, you take a vacuum, plug it on, and you suck all the air out and it compresses everything into basically pancake form. And then you're able to slip it in your car, put it at the base, put light items on top of it, and you're ready to go. Uh, when I was doing it, I was really surprised at how much room I was able to save. Like it was, it was amazing. <laughs> I saved so much room. Being a clinical student as a physical therapist, I had clothes everywhere and just like stuffed away in boxes and stuffed in my hamper and laying on top of stuff and I couldn't see out the back. This compressed it all down to where I was able to see out of the back safely because I wanted to make this over 1700 mile drive safely and not have any blind spots. Definitely made everything a lot easier, so I highly recommend that. It was like, depending on what you got, anywhere between $25 to $45, maybe 50 bucks. Definitely worth the investment. They're reusable. There's different sizes. Definitely go check them out. You can find them at the local stores, Walmart, Amazon, wherever. And then the last item that I got that I think everybody needs is an extend -a pole <laughs> that goes into the top of your vehicle and it latches on to the handles in the back and it's basically a portable clothes hanger and so for all my work clothes if you are a physical therapist and you need to dress nice for the outpatient setting or you have some clothes some dresses anything you want to hang up that you don't want to put into the ziploc bags or the space bags because even though the space bags compress it. I had my stuff in there for like a week before I actually got it out and it, they came out wrinkled. So if you're worried about that, put it on a hanger, hang it on this extend up hole in the back of your car. And that's also going to save you a lot of room. That makes it easy for you to put stuff in underneath and then you have your shirts or dresses or anything else that is hangable coats up top. 
So those are my five recommendations of things that you should absolutely get that is absolutely worth your investment in order for you to make that first road trip. The extendable, I think, runs around like 30 to 40 bucks. Again, not a very expensive investment, but definitely saves you a lot of hassle, a lot of frustration trying to pack your car and puzzle piece it all together in the back. Thank you so much, guys, for catching me on this episode of the New Medical Nomads podcast. If you're looking for the next episodes, find it on the Facebook page, The New Medical Nomads Podcast. Or if you have any questions, please join us on the Facebook group, New Medical Nomads. You can also find all these episodes at newmedicalnomads.com for any of the previous episodes or blogs, and also find us on iTunes, Stitcher, or YouTube. Also, if you found some benefit out of this, tag somebody below or give us a like, give me a share. I would absolutely appreciate any type of love that you send my way in order to get my information out to the people that I'm trying to reach. Thanks so much, everyone. Safe travels.